I think we've all got that one friend that the first time the warm weather rolls around in the summer, they're like, ah, it, it's too hot. It is so hot. It's so hot. Ah, it's, it, it is so hot. And then the very first even moderately cool day in the fall rolls around and they're like, it is so cold. I hate that. I don't know whether it's a Canadian thing or not. It's actually really hot, especially when you're wearing all this uh, winter clothing. But today it is kind of warm out. I'm going to take the dogs on a creek hike. Because it's so hot today, I wanted to take Deegan and Mac out for a special walk. Uh, normally I'd wait till it's a little bit later in the day, but I'm not gonna have a ton of time this evening. So, Kale will be taking the rest of our dogs to Agility tonight when she goes to teach Agility. But I wanted to get Deegan and Mac out for a nice walk and take them down to the water because I know they both really enjoy that. But today I thought I'd wear sandals and uh, maybe Deegan and Mac and I can just sort of walk up the stream uh, a little ways and I didn't really want to wreck my shoes so we'll give this a try. Now again, I didn't really think ahead to the fact that I was going to be wearing sandals on uh, my dog walk which is generally not a great pair of shoes to wear when you're walking all of your dogs but uh, we're going to give this a try and hopefully I make it out unscathed. The other thing I didn't really expect was for it to be so deep. The water's pretty deep through here. And if uh, this vlog cuts off all of a sudden, it's because I've fallen in the water and completely destroyed the camera. It's kind of a general rule of thumb. We like to uh, you know, keep any exercise sessions for our dogs short and sweet, especially if it's in the heat. But um, days like today where there are time constraints uh, and, and stuff, as long as I'm bringing Deegan and Mac, or even if I had brought any of the other dogs with me, heading down to the water is sort of a nice way for them to cool off and stay cool, as well as uh, get out and uh, use, use up, burn up some of their, uh, their energy. I'm really lucky that we have such a nice, quiet, clean stream um, running right very near our house that we can take the dogs out and, and go for a hike like this. It's really quite a beautiful area. We've reached a real point of commitment here. Uh, if I wanted to get out, it's pretty thick. It's pretty tough to get out on both sides. Uh, so I've got to go either up or back the stream the way that we came. And there's bees back there. And I don't really want to go back. And it gets, it looks like much more challenging as we move along, but I can't, there's no way for me to easily get around this. If Deegan made it through, maybe I can get through too. She had to get pretty low though. I don't think I can get that low. I could try, I guess. I'm gonna try to keep the camera running the whole time. Oh, I'm hung up on a leash. Hold on, dude. Okay. Here we go, it gets really, really deep here. cold. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. Oh, not quite yet. I'm just trying so desperately to not drop the camera in the water. All right, we're through. Come on guys. It's safe to say that Mac doesn't like the water nearly as much as Deegan does. Every opportunity he gets, he goes up on the trail. So I need to find a spot that I can allow him to do that. I mean, he's certainly okay in the water. He doesn't look uncomfortable, but I think he'd prefer to be on dry, dry land. I think there might be a spot where we can get up to the trail from here. And because ahead of us does not 
look passable. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's just see what happens here. I'm, I'm feeling really confident because uh, I didn't uh, completely crash and burn on the last one. So let's give this one a try too. Nailed it. That one is a little bit easier because I was able to push some of the smaller branches and things out of the way. Poor Mac, he clearly doesn't love being in the water, but I think he's just doing it so that uh, he can stay with us. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna get it back on the trail and then head home. These guys have had a really great walk so far and I think uh, we need to do a tick check, which we're gonna show you next. Can't really find a great spot to get out of here. Um, it's changed a lot. I mean, this I haven't really been down here in many, many years, but it's hard to know where we are. It's so grown in, but I'd really like to find a spot that we don't have to walk all the way back down the stream to get out. Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled for something, but we've got to go back through all those like things that I found it so difficult to go through. They're even harder when you go back the other way, as it turns out. Look what Deegan found out here. It's just a random floating, it's like one of those Kong sponge balls. So she's happy, for sure. Okay, I think this looks like a pretty good spot. Let me get it up and out of here. Hmm. Ah. Here's the next problem. I'm wearing sandals and these trails are covered in thistles and uh, wild berries and things like that. So it's gonna be really challenging uh, to, to make my way through here. I mean, I've made it three or four feet now. My legs are already pretty cut up. <sighs> Back to the creek, I guess. And I have fluff on my chin. When did that happen? Why didn't you guys tell me? I made it two steps in and I got swallowed up by the uh, by the mud and then I sustained some injuries ah, from the crabgrass. Oh, this is a rough hike. Hope the dogs are enjoying it at least. Okay, I saw a spot that looked like we might have trail out here. Oh yeah, it's starting to open up a little bit. Can you see that? Do you guys see that? The trail's just through there. I think we may have made it. Not without some injuries though. Some of those uh, grasses are really sharp. Well, I sustained a few injuries. You can say it was my fault though. We probably should have scouted out the area before we went for a hike. Well, I made it back. I was able to have a shower and <laughs> nurse my leg wounds. And as I mentioned earlier, just before we uh, had difficulty getting out of the stream, um, anytime we get back from doing uh, any kind of hiking with our dogs, especially where there's long grass, especially um, near water sources, we need to do a tick check. And they're pretty straightforward and I urge anyone to do it, even uh, if your dogs are on any tick prevention, tick or flea prevention medication, it's a good idea to have a tick, uh, to check your dog for ticks. But very simply, uh, a tick check, I'll just run my hands. Now I've done Deegan already and it's uh, Mac's turn and Mac gets pretty excited uh, about getting uh, his tick check done. But things like, um, any place where a tick might be able to hide out. So like Mac's got uh, pretty uh, prick ears, uh, Deegan has uh, the ears that hang down so I do need to do a little bit uh, more thorough check of Deegan's ears but I'll check inside his uh, Max ears definitely under his collar all the way around underneath his armpits I'll feel through there feel down his legs get him to stand up here it's hard because he's such a suck he just wants to lean on me but actually if him laying on his back to make it a little bit easier down and through his legs underneath his tail another place you need to check is in between your dog's toes because those ticks can actually get in between their toes and latch on and there's all sorts of reasons why you don't want a tick to latch onto your dog. Lyme disease is certainly one of them but they carry all sorts of dis awful diseases.
but I'll just check and do it in a well-lit area. Now I'm lucky enough to have studio lighting here. <laughs> I'm lucky enough to have studio lighting in here, but maybe do it in your kitchen or somewhere that's really, really bright. Um, you also want to check all the way down the dog's belly. So really be thorough about it. You know, you can't take too much time. You can't be too thorough with something like a tick check. You really want to make sure that you've checked your dog's entire body because, uh, you know, with the dog's fur, a tick can hide out pretty easily and you absolutely don't want that to happen. Uh, you can tell that Mac loved the thorough tick check. He's, uh, he's such a suck sometimes. Uh, and he was tick free and so was Deegan, but uh, make sure you check anytime you're out, uh, walking around, out, especially when there's long grass or anything like that. But. Uh, on that note, uh, if this is your first time uh, on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single weekday. We have uh, five days a week we're uh, posting new vlogs. If this is uh, your first time on the vlog, make sure you check out another episode. But uh, I'm going to leave you with one thing, and I want you to keep in mind. Do something awesome with your dog today.